In heart failure treatment, the key strategy is the blockade of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, or RAAS, in order to decrease blood volume and to counteract vasoconstriction. Further tactics focus on supporting the system which counteracts this system, namely natriuretic peptides, like BNP. This has been attempted in two distinct ways. The first approach was to supplement BNP with a synthetically produced BNP compound, named nesirotide. Intravenous administration of nesirotide should actively induce diuresis, natriuresis, and vasodilation, just like the endogenous BNP does. The second approach aims at increasing BNP by inhibiting BNP breakdown. For this purpose, a new class of drugs has been established that inhibit naprilysin, which is the enzyme responsible for BNP degradation. Naprilysin inhibitors were then successfully combined with angiotensin receptor blockers. This class of drugs is abbreviated ARNI. ARNIs have been shown to be superior to ACE inhibitors or monotherapy with angiotensin receptor blockers in chronic heart failure patients with reduced ventricular function. Therefore, ARNIs are the recommended drug therapy of choice in these patients. However, it's important to know that the use of this compound is contraindicated in patients with a history of angioedema, as this is a rare side effect of naprilysin inhibitors. Since these drugs interfere with natriuretic peptides in the body, how do they affect lab results from BNP and NT-pro-BNP testing? The administration of the synthetic BNP, nesirotide, naturally leads to an increase in BNP in the plasma, which can be detected in the lab. Obviously, this elevation is artificial and does not reflect actual heart damage. NT-pro-BNP levels, on the other hand, are not affected, since nesirotide does not contain NT-pro-BNP. What about ARNIs? Since ARNIs inhibit the degradation of BNP, endogenous BNP is naturally elevated in patients taking these drugs. Again, the elevation does not reflect heart muscle damage. On the other hand, naprilysin does not degrade NT-pro-BNP, so ARNI treatment does not affect NT-pro-BNP levels in the blood. This means that increased NT-pro-BNP levels in patients on ARNIs do indicate heart muscle damage. A lot of doctors now ask themselves, should I still measure BNP in patients on ARNIs if its elevation does not reflect disease progression? Or shall I switch to NT-pro-BNP instead? Experts still advise that BNP measurements can be used to diagnose heart failure in patients on ARNIs. Drug-induced BNP elevations are rather modest, so they need to compromise the ability to rule out heart failure, which is still the main use of BNP testing, nor do they significantly impact the ability to rule in heart failure in most patients. The use of BNP for therapy guidance is not fully evaluated yet, in patients taking these medications. However, experts advise to wait one month after starting ARNIS until BNP has reached a new steady state and then repeat BNP testing to establish a new baseline value for further monitoring. In addition to BNP, anti-pro-BNP is a good lab marker to diagnose heart failure as well as to monitor heart failure patients. The concept, the lower the anti-pro-BNP test results, the better, is applicable for all patients, whether on ARNIs or not. So if your patient is on either ARNI or nesirotide, be aware that BNP plasma levels will be falsely elevated and these lab results may not reflect your patient's heart condition. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.